everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, apologize for not getting a video out last week. We've just been so busy after getting back from Georgia at the shop. We've had, you know, so many vehicles in and out. Uh, we didn't have a good video, and I'm not going to put up a video just to have something up. I want it to be a quality video. But anyways, right now I am uh, just going for a quick cruise uh, in Project DD-10.5, which is my personal GTO. And uh, if you don't know, the Project DD-10.5 is uh, daily driver 1050s. We are going to take this 2004 GTO and we are going to make it so it is a 100% daily driver um, and has the ability to run 1050s. Um, how we're going to do that is we have a built transmission that's going to be, uh, the transmission is going to be built in here. <clears throat> We will be doing new ported heads, a new uh, comp camshaft. We will be doing um, a aftermarket, a intake manifold with nitrous system, nitrous outlet um, controller, um, a new uh, stall torque converter, uh, a bunch of stuff on here. And uh, we have some, some tricks we're gonna try to get it to work, but that is the plan. We're gonna take this this 2004 5.7 LS and make it a 10.5 second quarter mile daily driver with AC full interior on here um, you know every every little creature comfort still gonna be here it's still gonna be an automatic it's going to have a stereo it's gonna have all of this stuff on there um, it's gonna be 3,800 pounds with driver but I wanted it so that I could hand the keys to anybody and they could literally go rip off a 10-5 down the track. So that's what we're gonna do. That is gonna be the plan. I'm gonna finish my cruise here this morning, grab uh, maybe grab something to eat real quick because it's Sunday morning. And then we're gonna go uh, look at the intake manifold. We've already started on the nitrous system on that. But we're gonna finish plumbing that. We're gonna get the injectors and the uh, custom mounts for the injector rails and get this thing ready so we can, uh, you know, start getting the heads off here and start spraying the house down on this. Man, I miss spraying something. This is gonna be fun. Okay, so I'm in the shop as you can tell and I am ready to work on my intake manifold. Now, here is the, the down low. We are going to change this uh, GTO from the LS6 style intake manifold to a uh, Holly Sniper uh, sheet metal intake. Yes, I know everybody's gonna tell me, oh, long runners and you need the long runners and this and that on there. Absolutely, you do need a long runner for something where you want some low end torque and everything on here. But people do forget when you add compression and even nitrous on an LS engine, you can make your torque down low with the nitrous. So I'm not too worried about it on there we are putting a stall converter in it so it can get up in the power band and everything there so we are going to take this intake manifold right here we've already done some of the plumbing on there um, we did a we drilled and tapped uh, to a 1 16th NPT and these are uh, 90 degree nozzles on there so they do come in 90 out on there and we have these already pre put in I did this over the winter when we had some downtime um, I did this at my house uh, it was a fun project here's some pictures and um, yeah, there we go. So what we need to finish on here is we have to get the solenoids. I want to mount the nitrous solenoids to the intake manifold. I need to plumb it. We are using the soft lines like we did on the on the Camaro. We're gonna use the soft line system and wrap it underneath. I'm hoping I can get the, the solenoids mounted underneath this. Um, we will need to make new brackets right here for the fuel rails. Um, this is meant for the factory LS1 uh, style injector, which we are no longer going to use. We are going to convert this over to an LS3 style injector. Um, this injector is actually a factory Camaro LS3 injector. Uh, flows right at roughly uh, 42 to 45 pounds, depending on which one you have. We are going to have them flowed. We do flow them here in house, so we will take care of that. Um, and this is an EV6 style connector. So we will be changing our harness. We are actually going, I'm not, we don't run the little adapters or like that. We are going to change it over. Uh, so we have a nice plug-in like that coming off of the side. 
And then we have um, a nice 90 degree boot on here to make it look nice and neat on there. This boot is supplied by FuelTech. Yes, I am a Holly person. I love Holly. Holly makes amazing products. We've gone very fast on them, but FuelTech does make this uh, this little deal here, and it just looks so nice. So I got that. Uh, other than that, that's going to be uh, what we're going to do on the intake manifold. This is a 102 millimeter throttle body, so we are going to increase quite a bit of flow. Um, and then when we put this matched with our ported heads, which we are going to be porting a set of 241 heads, I have another set of 241 heads. Um, that is what came factory on the LS1. Um, we're going to port those heads. We are going to have this on there with a big bump stick. We've got stainless braided brake lines that's going on here. We've got radiator stuff. We've got nitrous controllers. We've got everything going on here to try to make this a 10.5 second car. So let's get to this portion. We're gonna grab the solenoids, see where we can mount them and start running some lines. All right, so after looking at what our options are and how we wanna run this or how I want to run this in my car, I can say I on this one. <clears throat> so how I wanna run this is I wanna get the solenoids up underneath the intake here like this, right about there. So I'm gonna use these brackets that they sent. I already bolted them on. These are a uh, 1032 socket and cap screw. And I'm going to take the bolts right here. Let's use this for the throttle body. And those are gonna be part of the mount. So I'm going to take it and get it so I can suck it up under here, get it up like that. Maybe even go this way and bring it up. And then same on this side. We're gonna get it up like this, get it so it's nice up and tight here. And then um, I'm gonna leave enough of these brackets right here um, so I can come underneath and I'm gonna weld them together so that way I can unbolt it and they both come off um, as one piece. But then also um, on there, it's not going to try to pivot with it only being one. It's tied together so two bolts are gonna be holding it on and it won't try to pivot and move around. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting that taken care of. We're going to get over on the bandsaw, do some cutting, some welding, some this, some that, and get these mounted on there. Um, and then uh, if you didn't see our, um, if you didn't see the auxiliary fuel system that we put on our big Camaro, this is the same system on there. This is a shower head, what they call that. Let's get real close, it goes on like that. And that's where everything is, is goes through there. So it's gonna come in as a single orifice and then it comes out as eight. And then one is obviously gonna be for fuel, goes to the fuel side, which is the bottom on, on these. So it'd be the bottom here. And then one's going to be for the nitrous that comes up here on there. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this mount kind of figured out and made up and put on there. Then we can go ahead and put in all of our fittings onto the shower heads and start plumbing everything in. We're gonna use some nice small zip ties or even some, uh, some tape, um, some electrical cloth or some cloth electrical tape that we will wrap around there, try to loom it, make it look very nice so it doesn't look uh, too gaudy. But at the same time, we wanna open the hood and let people know we're fucking spraying the house down here. So we have a little bit we can trim here. You see how it's got a little bit of a gap right there? That little bit of a gap. So we can trim this up, trim it here, get it suck up a little bit better on there. But that's where we're gonna have it. And then we're going to have this one on the other side. We still have to finish all the trimming and get it where we want it to be, like that. And then we're just going to take a small piece, fit it in here, weld it in, and that'll all be one piece. And then we'll have both solenoids there that we can then run everything to it. Now we can start getting all of our shower heads permanently mounted in here. And 
as you can see, I did weld on a brace across. We are going to take this off for one last time to polish everything up and just kind of clean up some of the welds a little bit here. But we did put the brace across here so we can run lines through this way and it's not gonna risk falling down or anything like that on here, so. But I do like that, it's looking really good. We're gonna be able to uh, start running our nitrous lines. Yeah, this is the first time, the first time I get to see it at this angle. I'm liking it, it's gonna work really well. So it's it's plumbed. I'm super pumped with how it turned out. Um, if we can get a nice shot here of the front like that, you can see how everything is plumbed from the front coming through there. Um, everything clears our throttle body. So we're good there. Um, now we just need to get the injectors flowed, which we're gonna do in-house on our new Autool uh, injector cleaner and flow bench. We need to get the fuel rails put on and then get out the rest of the plumbing done on this. But we're one step closer on there. Um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it every single time that you guys tune in. Um, but I do have just a quick thing to say. Um, a good friend of Al's. Um, you guys have seen my father on here a whole bunch of times. Um, a good friend of him, his from the military, his name is Mark Sprinkle. Um, we just got word that he passed away on Friday. And uh, Mark watched our videos all the time. He thought it was really cool to see, <clears throat> you know, dad and I working together and everything. Mark was there when I was born uh, in Germany. And um, he's just, uh, he's gonna be missed. Um, he was a really cool dude, and uh, I know my dad's pretty bummed about it there. So, but um, we just want to give you know our best to uh, Mark's friends and family out there, and uh, hope that they can get through this time right there. So, till next time, be safe, guys. <laughs>